the Apple retail store. The damage caused by the failures of Amazon's cloud computing system caused billions of dollars in loss of revenues and productivity. Amazon spokesman said the problem has been caused by wiring problems or connectivity problems and um, or connectivity issues and we all know that this excuse is unacceptable. Amazon side said the trouble was apparently due to excessive limitings of its elastic block storage or EBS volumes. Well, the thing is, I don't really understand these technical terms. For I know this, well, I can call this incident system fuck up. The system really fuck up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. There was a guy named um, Kate Smith, and um, he was the CEO of a website called Big Door. He said. If Amazon had been more forthcoming with what they are experiencing, we would have been able to restore our systems sooner. As I told you millions of times, if you trust any cloud computing service, it's like let your wife or your daughter with a convicted rape murderer. Okay, do you trust the convicted murderer? And you will ask the guy to take care of your wife or your children. There is nothing in the cloud. As a computer's terms, I would say I would call it remote server or remote hard drive. This kind of system requires well prepared peoples and company. We are in the middle of crisis, so we have serious business to do, and then we need serious company to take care of our data. We cannot put all of our eggs in one basket. If you do that, you're going to put yourself at risk. If we trace back into the history, Amazon started this cloud computing service in 2006. These kind of problems have never been occurred before. This is the first time. Why? You know what? I'll tell you why. If you've been keeping up with CNNs or New York Times or Fortune or Forbes magazines for the last three months, Amazon's trying to change a large number of things at the same time simultaneously. At first, they're trying to reduce the price of the Kindle to 139, and then trying to reduce the price again, and put the ads on it, the Kindle with ad, and then Amazon establishes the cloud service to store music online. And then Amazon argued with Apple about the terms App Store. They're trying to do many things at the same time, simultaneously. And we all know that when people try to do many things at the same time, people don't focus. So we don't focus. So, well, whatever we focus, the energy flows to that focus. But if we don't focus, we don't have any energy. So the thing is, Amazon was too busy to do several things at the same time. And then they have forgotten to look at their ass. That's the thing. So these problems occur. What about me? Well, I'm a small business entrepreneur and I have started my own website. I got five employees. I paid big amount for these services. And what's going to happen because I can't afford to just find out a company right now. What's going to happen with my life? These, these problems raise awareness of people. I told you millions of times. If you have a very rare collections of music, like the one from Clive Davis or Charlie Parker's, the one that you really can't find online easily. I've been trying to find a song, very important song, on the internet. And we always know that we can, we can easily find any of these songs in MP3 format. But if we don't trust in that type of format quality, let's say I want to find, well, a songs in web format or Apple Lossless format. 
These types of formats are really hard to be found on the internet. And then you trust the Amazon cloud service and then you post your songs, you store your songs in the cloud. It's not in the cloud, it's on the company's hard drive. And then something goes wrong. I would love to ask Amazon just only one word. The things that I want to know is what are you going to do with the problems? Like yesterday, I have orders my pizza. Okay, and the delivery guy came two minutes late. He gave the pizzas to me for free. I didn't have to pay for anything because it wasn't my fault. It was the company fault. So what are you going to do? Do you have any more excuse? Okay, Amazon website, Amazon company, they failed this time because they were not well prepared. Okay, they were too busy doing several things trying to compete with this company, trying to invent this, initiate that. Okay, but they were not well prepared. Thanks for watching.